This is a uh, Rankers Battle Top Eight. We we missed the first match, but we got next up. This is a single limb tournament, so no losers bracket. Oh, and yeah, Owen is running Fasib against Gamera. So we talked about how you can't beat Fastiva without a DP. Well, yeah, Gita's got DP, but not just that. She got godlike normals. I feel like this is probably a wash. I haven't seen I haven't seen a recent like I've seen tier list, but I haven't seen like character matchup charts. I feel like Gita probably destroys La Diva. But again, it's still La Diva. So this is still a top tier character that can do this, right? One hit and then it doesn't matter who you are. Oh my god, and we got safe Oki setups too. And a reset? DP again, though. This is why you need that DP. Again, this is why you need DP. This is why Zoe can never be top tier. But yeah, Owen had a great start. Kamara able to get out of there with the XDP, and now we are here. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. The buttons. The 2B. 2B5C. I'm plus. And now I'm chilling. You know, I'm just going to wait for my... Surprise, there's no anti there, but just wait for my cooldown timers to come back. Surprise, he didn't punish. Yoda. Be careful with the fireball. No confirm there from Owen, but you got to be careful with the fireball because, you know, the Diva's level one super. The Lariat will blow that up. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Gamera's number one, yeah. This is the Power Sam show, man. The Power Sam show and a top tier character. Hey, what up? Chao Mushi, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And if you guys are watching on YouTube now, I apologize for the alerts. Obama told me to take them off, but I'm going to leave them on for this video, so please do not hate me. Day backing up. Got the life lead, right? Just chilling. This is why Jita, you know, people ask, like, why why is Grand better than Jita? Or what does Jita have better than Grand? Jita is way better at the, the mid-range, like, zoning game. While Grand is way more offensive. And he's got higher damage here. But against a grappler like Fastiva, you don't want to rush down. You don't want to be in her face. You want to be in that mid-range, that safe space. And that's what, look, come here just chilling. Uh-oh, hold on. Nice confirm, too. Scope. DP is still available, though. See? Oh, no, behind the back. That only worked. That only worked because Gamera got greedy. Again, he has DP. If Gamera didn't go for the uh, the cross-up, he would have got out for safe. That anti-air would have whiffed. But he went for the uh, anti-air. That extends your hurt box. He got greedy. He got greedy. If he jumped in and pressed the button, he would have got out. He's still in a good spot, though. He's down on life, but he's got meter, he's got spacing. Never he's dead. That's how that's, that's just how it is, right? Even if you're in a good spot against a grappler, it just takes one like brave jump or one brave read and they win. Owen. 1 0. Her cross up hitbox kinda meh. It's nothing to do with her hitbox. Don't try and defend Jita's jump in. It's that's just that would have beat Cat would have beat Gran, would have beat anybody. Nice. Entire EXDP. Owen won the first game, but this is still, you know, that was close. A plus. Nice. Jump back against that. Another. Air EXDP. This is how grapplers have to take risks, right? They have to jump in. They have to jump in. You, so you have to stop them. You cannot let a grappler jump in on you in any game. Look at this. Back away. Got all that real estate. I hate saying real estate. All that space to work with. He's dead. Ba -boom. Mm -mm -mm. Handle. Good from Gamera not getting flustered. You know, after the first game. It's just it's just mentally taxing to fight a grappler. Like I hate him. I can't stand grapplers. Big drop combo right there. Even though he got he got grappler to game one. Gamera recovering. Another EX. His DP. He's doing no, he's doing the regular input. I can tell by his cooldown time. He's doing the proper input. Okay, Owen with the four jump. Owen with the four jump, swapping the position and another DP from Gamera. I hope you guys are understanding right now why the Japanese players say you cannot beat La Diva without a DP. We saw all that we saw, you know, La Diva against Luin, La Diva against uh, Zoe. We didn't see Ladiva Madera, Matera, but... Alright, baited, but still. That was a big drop. That was a big drop. One to one. 
So even though he baited the DP there, like how many times has a DP just done work for Gamera? Not just with anti-airing from a range most guys can't do it, but just escaping that pressure, right? If you don't have a DP, there's almost no fear. There's nothing to bait ever. Uh, for Ladiva, she just goes crazy. One to one, yep, and that's how you punish. That's what I'm saying. The first game he ducked the Lariat, he threw. That's not what you want to do. If you duck that Lariat, you have a lot of time to react and get a combo. Gamera definitely recovered. This, this is over. This is a wrap. He's not dead this round, but just the uh, the flow of this match. Gamera slowed it down, adjusted the spacing. Oh, he threw too early though. He messed up. No, never give a grappler one chance. You see that though? You see that? Again, I'm, I'm gonna go back to his DP. We gotta talk about his DP. So right there, the DP didn't come out, but Owen stopped his pressure. That's what having a DP does. That's what people don't understand. Uh oh, no. That's what you know. The 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 stream chat doesn't understand is you don't have to DP every time, but just having a DP is huge. The threat of having a DP will stop Ladiva from doing her mix. If you don't have the DP, she'll never stop. She never has to stop. It's like, what are you going to do? You can't mash. All you can do is jump. Yeah, yeah. He, he downloaded. This is, this is the download. This is a download, but again, this is a, a grappler. You can never count a grappler out. They always have a chance. But, yeah. Damn, she is mad strong. She's mad strong. This is the... That's something that makes her very powerful too, is her level one, of course, from any range, if you can do the technical input, which is quite easy, you get that full damage there. Gamera, 2-1. Owen eliminated. Not bad, though. Not bad. We got a grappler. We got two grapplers in a uh, top eight. Here. Why don't I see the Japanese players playing Grand more? There was just a tournament, I believe, two days ago where the Grand Finals was Grand vs. Grand. So I think maybe the reason why you don't see that is because you don't watch uh, tournaments. That could be one reason why. This is single limb. This is a classic Japanese fighting game tournament. Single limb, baby. First to two, single limb. Even the Grand Finals is first to two. Now we have, now we have a Percival vs. Percival mirror. So like I was saying before, this character now is considered top two. Now they consider Gran and Percy the, the one and two character. Will it change? Yeah, I'm sure there are going to be changes in the future. But as of this moment, as of May 6th, Percy is arguably the best or the second best character in the game. And we got Percy Mirrors, baby. But like I said too, Zeph is the god. There's a lot of fake Percy's. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. You guys watching right now, again, it's for the YouTube. I told the stream, but you guys, you're going to notice a lot of top players switching up from Catalina to Percival now. This is kind of the replacement. In the last version, Percy was considered kind of like a weaker cat. As in like, why wouldn't you just pick Catalina? Now it's kind of the opposite, where all the pros, the Goichis, the, the Fenriches, the Giunas, they're going to Percy now. But don't forget, I was playing Percy day one. I was a day one Percy main, so I'm not being a tier bandit. I'm just going back to my original main. Let's see, Zeph, show him. Yo as well, though. So, uh, Yo, Relius, he is also a, a OG Percy main. It took him a long time to get master rank, though. It took him a very long time to get master rank. Meanwhile, Zeph hit master very early. Nice. Boop. Nice confirm there. Neither of these players made a character switch. But Zeph is definitely his senpai. That was the original master. Back when people thought Percy was kind of like, eh, he's not that good. Zeph proved everyone wrong. Dogger calls him Zeph Sensei for teaching him all like the setups and everything. Nice confirm. Shout out to both of these players using the best sword. And again, nice call out on that jump D. You kind of have to always assume Percy's going to do jump D. Bop. He ain't dead, right? No. Zeph, wake up super. I like it. I like it from Yo. He knew that super might be coming. Oh, hold on. He's airborne. You're going to get the full thing? He didn't get the animation. Oh, ah, he could have killed. 
There was no need, no reason to do that. That's called a level two mix up. So that's when he didn't even expect that low to hit. So he was planning for the overhead. You know? He wasn't looking for that low. So from the low, he could have comboed and won, but he didn't think it was going to hit. He was committed to the overhead. Dio probably got hit by that low, and he was like, oh, I lost. But Zeph wasn't, he just, the overhead worked. At the end, it worked out. That's important though in fighting games. You have to have a plan and just go for it. He didn't go like, I'm going to try a low. If it hits, maybe confirm. He's like, no, nah, I'm going to go for his overhead. Crack his uh, legs a little bit. Hey, nice air grab. It's a good way to deal with both options. Nice from Ryo. Talk to Ajiwai. Air grab is a good option to deal. It's same thing with like Charlotte Demon Flip. Is when you can change your timing in the air. Uh, air grab will cover every option. You just have to be fast to go for it. Both players trying to charge up right now. Trying to get those stocks up. Very important for Percy. Ooh! I love his command grab. You have to be a real man to land that command grab. But yeah, we got five stocks against zero stocks. Life lead. Oh, it's going to hurt. He ain't dead. It's going to hurt, though. 5C, just max damage. Ouch. If you jump low, regular grab, and Zeph, match point. Yeah. JP Comte is saying it, too. It's like Zeph, Zeph's play speed, like the speed at, at which he attacks and just plays the game, is very, very fast. Percy traditionally is kind of like a slow based, you know, mid range, a little bit of a zoner, something, but Zeph is very, very fast, very, very aggressive. Nice air grab again from Yo. Got the confirm. Nice. That's a crouch only combo he just did right there. But Zeph got it. Side swap. Even though he's down on life, he's got positioning. Optimal combos. The ODP right back. Zeph, though, he's got super. Nah, he was scared. Caught him blocking. Yo, tied up one apiece. This is a good match. This is a good match. Yes, I might have skipped the uh, Lancelot mirror, but that's okay. Because we got the Percy mirror. Why don't they have Lohengrin? Because this sword is better than that one. This is Percival's best sword. No debate. Confirming. Air grab. Oh, you went for another one. Mashing sweep. That's one of the good changes here for Percy. Recovery uh, is much lower, so you can bravely just mash sweep and not die. Got him. What are you standing up for, Zep? Hold on. Super. Yo, match point. This is a passing of the, the crown. Like I said earlier, Yo cried. He was in tears. He tweeted out, I haven't cried in a fighting game. In years and years, he cried when he hit Master Rank, which was only like a week or two weeks ago. He hit Master Rank after this tournament was announced. So he hit Master Rank for this tournament. Going against the first Master Rank person of all time. One round away from dethroning him. Okay. Zeph not giving up, though. He's in a good spot. Command grab. Grab his ass. Regular grab. Doesn't want to risk it yet. Back dash. Try to call out the DP. Did not come. Bro, he's going ham right now. Ooh, no, it's minus. That was fast speed right there. So Yo was minus, but he pressed the button. That's when you know your opponent can't keep up with your pressure. Bah. Zeph has super. He's almost dead, though. Safe jump. Oh, no. What the hell? Honoyo. Going for chip, and then, woo, that was intentional. That was intentional, right? That, that, that had to be intentional. The close, the close medium anti-air. Anyway, we got double match point right now. Zeph cornered Yo. Again, that high-speed gameplay. Again, he did it again. This is the, the, the goddamn professor. Back throw, though, from Yo. He's not out. Okay, crouch confirm. EXDP, get your stocks. Regular throw, and we're dead even. Next hit wins. Oh, he's dead! Yo won! Get the animation, too. Get the walk. He's going to do the walk. The pose. The walk. Walk on his ass. This is so cool. Don't, why'd they skip it? Why'd they skip it? But yo, 2-1 to one over Zeph. God damn. 
Zeph is godlike. Don't get me wrong. Zeph is godlike. I feel like Zeph showed more of like Percival's potential. But yo, just beat him in that set. You know, that it's how it happens. When you're around the same level, yo just outplayed him that set. That shit was good. Yeah, unfortunately though, guys, this is a single limb tournament, so Zeph's out. But good stuff to him. Just don't look up his old name. Whatever you do, do not look up his old fighting game handle. Don't look it up. His name is Zeph. Is Yo crying right now? And we got another good match. We got another good match right now. And more fan favorites. We got Vasaraga. Uh, Nino Mai, this is the best Vasaraga in the world. You can quote me on that. Fame 6 9. Uh, no. This is the best Vasaraga in the world right now. Against Koji. Koji's the best, probably, uh, La Diva, Fastiva player in the world. So let's see how this, uh, this match works right here. If we want to talk about... Nah, I can't because they both played Street Fighter 4. But yeah, so uh, Koji, of course, played that T-Hawk in Street Fighter 4. Nino Mai, though, is one of the best, if not the best, Rose player. This is also the first... You know, we just saw Zeph, who was the first Master Percival. Uh, Nino Mai is the first Master Fastiva. I don't know if Koji was the first... Or, sorry, the uh, first Master Vasaraga. I don't know if Koji was the first Fastiva or not. Oh, the anti-air. The BB tag. <laughs> okay, Lariat, no tackle for you, and just like that. Of course, you know what? Does not have a DP. He's got super on deck, but... Plus... Koji tried being out the DP. Air confirmed. Damn. Oh, it went! It whiffed, but he pressed 5L, and then he went for command grab. That's, again, that's that level 2 mix-up stuff. That's a level two mix-up. Not not the whiff. I'm not talking about that. But the fact he did 5L command grab. Even though the 5L hit, he could have killed off a combo. He wasn't thinking about that. He was thinking about the command grab. Like, this is very, very, very fast gameplay. And again, you don't have a DP. You don't have a DP. You do not have a DP. You have to hold all this stuff. You have to hold it all. You're done. You're washed. You're washed. If you do not have a DP, you will not beat Fastiva. That's a fact. Do not listen to anybody. I see people in the YouTube comments too, uh, trying to defend Fastiva, trying to say she's weak, she's weak, whatever. You're weak. The character is not weak. Not at all. This is a top tier character. This was a top tier character before. This was a top five character before. She got nerfed. Oh, they killed her. She's nerfed. She is still a top tier character, without a doubt. 2D. Oh my goodness. Plus, you can't do anything. You do not have a DP. Hold that. Lariat, nice punish from Nino Ma, yeah. Koji getting a little bit too greedy there, going for the Lariat. You can duck that, of course. Kaitoru! Nice confirm. Nino Ma is a beast too, though, don't get me wrong. Koji is also your, um, your winner from the last tournament. Right? Koji was on Team Melty Blood. Was Koji Team Melty Blood or Team uh, BB Tag? I forget. Koji got Nino my cornered. Oh my god. And he jumped command grab. Goes low. Nice jump back from Nino. My big risk. You gotta take those risks. Doesn't have a DP. So yeah, so Koji won the last online tournament that we did here. He's trying to make it two. He's trying to make the two peat happen. Boom. Fastiva or uh, Nino. Ugh. I keep switching their name. Vasaraga has extra health, but still not enough to survive. And now it's match point. Koji. Damn, it's rough. Oh my god, this is so rough. That's what we're talking about. Without that DP, without that threat, like we saw Gamera, like, you can just do these uh, plus frame situations that they just have to hold. You hold that. You know why with the brave jump, command grab coming out, but again, no time to try and activate armor, just wants to close it out. Good mash again, he's brave. Nice duck too, yeah. Koji getting a little bit too wild. Koji in a little bit too wild with these Lariats. I saw the meme, or the Japanese players make fun of Koji. They're like, he plays like T-Hawk. Like, he plays Fastiva like he plays T-Hawk. With just diving all day. Just dive, dive, just go in. Like, just go in, dive, 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 dive. 
Delay grab, Koji able to tech like that, right? That lariat, the payoff is so big if it hits. Condor dive, yeah. Oh god, just dies right in there. Crouch, and again, no jump, no button press for you. You don't have a DP, I don't have to worry about you at all. Just go on hand, you see that? It was meaty, 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 meaty. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not afraid of you? You can't beat this character? This character is strong. Wake up buttons. He got, he got him. He's not dead. Bop. He ain't dead though. Koji got greedy. Tried to just close out the grab. Shh. That super's mad cool. Okay. A lot of chip on that. Ooh, chip, chip's at it. Chip, chip's coming up. Ooh, no! He's lost. He lost. He lost. Chip damage. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. He could have dodged, maybe, but then, oh, man. Match point. The guessies, man. Co this is a grappler experience, though. Nice. Arming through there. No com no combo off that, though. Scoop. Nino Mai not giving up. Plus, overhead. Nino Mai. This guy's so good, too. He backing away. Stance. Koji dodge with dear life. Jump back. Uh-oh. Lariat. Okay, didn't get the combo. Uh-oh, here we go. What a mash though from Nino Mai. Oh! He tried to anti, it was too late. It's over. No, it's over. It's over. It's over. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's not getting out. He's not getting out. He's not getting out. Oh, he got... Why would you do that? That was the greediest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why would you go for that there? That had to be a mistake. That had to be a mistake. That had to be a mistake. Nah, that had to be a mistake. But given Nino Mai, now we got double match point. Single limb, don't forget. This is a single limb. Nani. Dodge and again. See? Jesus. Reset. No DP. Just go ham. Reset city. Okay, jump back. Two fighting at the combo. Try to go for grab his own. Can't kill. One more will do it though. Stayed in front. Reset. It's over. Bah. Ouch. Bro, I'm stressed. I'm not even playing Vasaraga. I'm stressed out. Nino Mai is a beast. That was a good that was a good set. Koji's offense is just ridiculous. Yeah, he jumped out of the grab but didn't get the combo there. Nino Mai just teleporting out of there. Koji moving on to top four. Koji's mad good. We saw it earlier, right? With Itazan, when Itazan played, we're like, if you play a grappler, you can't just pick up a grappler. It's the same thing when I talk about DPs, where it's like you, you build fighting game skills that carry over in between games. So, you know, you can't never play a DP character and then have a DP and suddenly you're good at DPing. Like, no, no, it's a skill that takes time. And same with grappler, like that play style, understanding when to grab. When your opponent's going to jump out, like what to do, that comes with time. And like Koji's been playing grabs forever. So he's just naturally a monster. So is Itazan. But Koji is a better Ladiva. As in, he's done more homework. He's played Grand Blue more. He studied harder. So he knows the situations. He's got the setups. All right. So top four. Score versus Gamera. This, is, this will be a good match. This is going to be a really good match. These two out of all the Master Rank plays, these two are definitely like the ones that are still grinding every day. This could be very good. Score, of course, King of Fighters guy. Gamera. These are both SNK. Gamera been grinding the old Samurai Showdown. Both playing top tier right now. Oh, he almost had to confirm a bit too far. If that was Grand, the boot would have connected. Mikireruka! Gamera cornered. You got it. Of course, even though Lance got nerfed, yeah, 2D is still just as good. Even though Lance got nerfed, he's still terrifying. He's still like an offensive monster. Jita a little bit more well rounded, a little bit slower pace. Oh no! He messed up the combo. That was. He's done a ton of damage, but yeah, he's dead. Boop! Good patience from the score. Uh oh! We froze a little bit. Even the Japanese commentators were like, whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, see, he doesn't go full screen anymore. That's a very big nerf. Lance got nerfed a ton, and he's still very, very, very good. He's still top tier. If you have any friends that are playing Lance and they're like, oh, bro, he's all right. He got nerfed now. He's still a big problem. Slide? Why is he sliding? He can definitely slide under that. Run up, sweep, and Eureka because it's safe. Why not? And Elgamera trying to bring that pressure. Of course, Lance got the teleport and the wall jump. Caught him. But from that range, can't really get anything. Maybe level one would have worked. Good block in the over. It's your turn. Score very, very, very respectful. He's not teleporting a lot. I expected that more. Maybe they've played before. Maybe he knows Gamera's got some sort of tech. Raw Dog, Rekka. Okay. Just do it. Why not, baby? It's safe. Let's go. Oh, you can't slide under the charge one. I see. What the hell? The hard read from Gamera with the DP. But, of course, no recovery in this game on DPs or supers. So, did not get punished for that. That was a weird cross up, and that wall jump is cheap. Double overhead, and here we go. Ice is gone. Gamera, though, good DP. We saw earlier his DP game is really on point when he fought against uh, Lil Wayne, Owen, Owen, whatever that guy's name was. Uh oh, you're dead. Gorilla Blade. Gorilla Blade nerfed, but still good. Gorilla Blade is nerfed. It's still one of the best moves in the game. One of the best specials in the game. Right? He was trying to do a fireball. Nope. Interrupted. Anyway, game one score. But that was close, right? That was close. It was kind of unfortunate. Gamera ate that. Let's go either way. And this is the first one. But I love first and one. I love first and one. Or, uh, uh, sorry. I love single limb. I love single limb. I love how every match feels like your tournament life's on the line. Oh no, that was really late. I think he had a panic attack. He was like, should I DP or should I anti air? And he waited too long. DP was way too late. Easy punish for score, and it's gonna hurt. Uh huh. Not just hurt, he's gonna get the setup here. A little bit of ice. Whoop. Nice. Fakes the high, went low, and it ran in his face. Close B. That move got nerfed, but it still links there on crouching. The Japanese guys got better German than I do. Match point for score. Every round, though, Gamera's not getting washed, right? Gamera's playing really well. He's just he's losing at the end. He can't close it out. Score Lance. This guy's been playing Lance the whole time. Did not care about those nerfs at all. He's still running the first of 50 sets with everybody. Southern Cross. Ah, uh, he he messed up. Very lucky for Gamera, but he called out that four dash. You see, his he waited. Then he went in. He knew that four dash was coming. With that forward roll, sorry. That was big. You're able to blow up his EX fireball, Gamera. That's cheap. Wall jump is cheap. I got nothing to say. That was just cheap. Regular. Fireball. Grill Blade in there. Give me those plus frames. Rekka, time to guess. And again, Gamera had a nice lead, but now it's just dead even. Both plays 100 meter. Next hit it, to Super. Jump out. Ah, oh, where's the confirm, Gamera? He could have won right there. Wake up, Buzz. Now he's going to get it. He went for easy input. Look. Look. He did easy input. The best you to play in the world, easy input. I don't want any more comments in the YouTube about, oh, only scrubs do easy input. Oh. By the way, you don't know. When her, if her hair turns blue, if her hair turns blue, it's the technical input. If it stays blonde or whatever color it is, it's easy input. Good bait from score. Good bait from score right there. Messed up the uh, the combo. Actually, I don't know. I didn't see. I know they changed his the entire combo in this version, but. Life lead still match point right now for score. Got Mary needs one round to tie it up. Good block on the overhead. It's your turn. 
For this round, though, I haven't seen a single EX... I can't think of a single EX teleport from Score. Why is he so scared? Does Gamera have this crazy answer that we've never seen before? If that was me, I'd just be teleporting all day. Just teleport, teleport. Okay. Confirm is going to hurt, and he's going to get that little safe jump. Yep. There's a teleport. Gamera had nothing. He had nothing. He just said, do it. Let's just come on. Let's reset it. Jump back. Score one hit away. Closing the out, but he's very low health. Gamera needs a clean hit, too. In the easy input, super is enough to kill. Nice dodge from score. Oh, he had it. Too far. Too far for 5C. No anti-air. No nothing. Oh, not dead. The mix goes low. Save. Oh! Ah! DP ain't dead, though. Save super from score. No, you got to be careful because Gamera's got super as well. He can counter. He's backing away. He's like, I dare you to super. Moving like a Marvel character. Gorilla Blade. No good. 12 seconds left on the clock. Oh, my God. Judah, can you tell me why Jita's such an easy character? Judah, can you explain to me why Jita is easy to play? Bruh. Bro, I just run and do the wreck. Let's go. One to one. Bro, just run and do that wreck. One to one. Gamera fighting for his life. The winner of this goes to Grand Finals, by the way. This is top four. The winner of this goes to Grand Finals. EX teleport again. Gamera doesn't have an answer for it. He does not have the... Uh oh, just raw dog gorilla blade. Ouch. Gets a side swap and the mix-up. Nice block. And then Rekka? Nah, that was a mistake. Reversal Rekka? This is not winner's finals. This is semi finals in a single limb tournament. Nice. That's what you can do. Yeah. I mentioned that earlier. You could do that before. You could always sweep under that. But now that it's slower in startup, it's easier to react to. I really like Gamera's approach of just waiting for Scorzy X Fireball and then countering with his own Fireball. Keeping his distance. Doesn't want to get near the wall because of the wall jump. He won. Look at her hair. What color is her hair, stream? What color is her hair? That's an easy input, baby. Match point. Gamera turning it all the way around here. Score is not done, though. This is definitely not a download. Score is still very, very close to do it. Another DP from Gamera. Cannot stress how crucial DPs are in this game. Rip in peace to my girl, Zoe. Eternally doomed to the low tier for not having a DP. Nice challenge from Gamera. Going to get the wall. Get the damage. Didn't want to... Did not believe that DP was coming out. Just came in there with 5L. Wall jump. Uh, score escapes. Oki. Anti-air is going to hurt. Gorilla Blade. Gorilla Blade again. Bop, bop, bop. We're going to get some ice. Jesus. Nothing. He messed up his own Oki. He backing away. He got the life. No. Whoa. What are you doing? See? He did technical input and he lost the round. He did easy input twice and he won the round. The one time he does technical input, he loses. Her hair was blue. Double match point again. Never do technicals, right? N double match point. Again, no losers. There is no losers bracket here. The winner is going to grand finals. Scored no anti-air. Damn, every set has been really good. Make it live. Oh, that's a punish. Scored bet it. In the last round, in the last round, sometimes you, you get kind of nutty. He, it didn't work. Didn't work that time. He didn't do the entire set. The last round, I tried to bring it out. Easy mode, Rekka. Confirm. Uh-oh. Score is not dead, though. Even with the technical input, it's not enough. Bop, 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 bop. Score, you're in a lot of trouble. Teleport. Fireball. TP baited. 5C. Yep. Just cash it out. This is max damage right now. He's, he's going to lose access to this super for the rest of the round, but he just cash out the damage. Okay. Tell, nice block there. He wants that fireball back. Dodge. Every little bit of chip. Oh, my God. Yep. That's the high-level stuff right there. So that was an anti-air. That, that's that's the high-level stuff in this game. You know, everyone, you anti-air with, with two, 2C. But 
if your spacing is good, you anti with 5C, right? He knew. He's backing away. He's like, I dare you to jump. I dare you to jump. If he DP'd it would whiff. If he 2C'd it would whiff. But from that range, you 5C. You catch him. That was good. That was a good set. Score out. Jita Grand Finals, huh? Jita is in the Grand Finals. So now we're going to have uh, Koji against Yo. Top four was uh, Lance, Jita, uh, Percival, and Fastiva. Jita in Grand Finals. And now we'll see this. That was 5B? She antires with 5B? Oh, that should be illegal. Mm. Which one's 5C? I forget. Oh, she does the spin? Well, Grand, I know Grand does anti air 5C against. Grand does anti air 5C against, like, uh, Fastiva in the boot. That shit is cheap. Damn, she got a 5B anti air 2. That's top tier. That's a top tier character right there. All right, so here we go. The other side of winner semis. Yo, Relius, Koji, playing Fastiva. I feel like, I feel like Yo is done. I feel like Yo is done. His last set against Zef, I felt like he put his, like, his whole soul out there. He put everything he had to beat Zef. Can he do it against Koji? A. Nice dodge on the headbutt, showing some knowledge right there. Honoyo. Run up. Okay. Confirm there. That's hard to do. Again, crouch confirm. Uh-oh. Here we go. Just like that. Oh, with the forward roll. Nice. He won. My man forward rolled out. That was scary. Even though he won with a perfect. When Koji jumped out of the corner and had Ryo block, it was like, uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. 5C, get that stock while you can. And first, that was the first situation of the match uh, about this RPS situation. Guys, I'm not trolling. You need a DP to be good. It's not... Get this right, chat. It's not bad players need a DP to be good. No, no, no. You need a DP to be a good character in this game. DP is a crutch. Nah, nah, nah. DP is a necessity. Scoop. Boop. Plus... So now he's scared. Damn, okay, yo, with the dodge. So, oh! Yeah, Super would have killed there against other characters, but not against Ladiva. I, oh, too far. Run, chip, chip her ass out. No, 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 he's fine. Yeah, he get, yeah, from that's fine. That's all Koji could have done right there. Is just Super is about to get chipped out. Bum, bum. Ladiva's not a, a fighting game character, though. Ladiva's a grappler. How is it going, Chef? Ladiva is a grappler. Grapplers are not human beings. They break the game. The reason why you need a DP is because of Ladiva. If you don't have, a, if you don't have a DP, you'll never beat Ladiva. You'll never beat Ladiva. Nice. Plus frame, city, Koji. What are you jumping for? Scoop, boom. That's too perfect. Yo, perfected Zef a bunch of times. He perfected Tahichi. He perfected Koji. This guy is perfecting everybody today. Try to go command grab. DP, get off me. Got the life lead and still going in. Run up grab. He's fearless. Plus frames. Again, he got hit crouching. He's trying to jump. Scoop. Dead. God damn. Where was Yo before? He's just on fire today, dude. This is Yo Rellis. He's a Blaze Blue player, if you don't know that. This is a Blaze Blue player. He hit Master recently. He's murdering everybody. Coach is a beast, don't get me wrong. But Yo was fearless. There was no hesitation. She just ran in there and just destroyed him. All right, Koji. He won the last tournament. He didn't win this tournament. He's out top four. Bowing to Kagechi. Leaving. And now we got grand finals right now. Yo Relius versus Gamera. Yeah, those setups he was doing off the uh, the meaty overhead. So you get the command grab. So right there, you know, Koji's trying to jump out of the command grab. And then, no, you get, get scooped.
Grand Finals. Yo, Relius, believe it or not, in Blaze, but he means Relius. All right, names are swapped. Names are swapped. Yeah, there we go. Swapping them. So player one, yo. Player two, Gamera. This is still only first to two. This is still only first to two. Grand final, single limb. Let us see. We had a lot of tournaments. It's 8.30. This, this tournament's been going on for nine and a half, or nine and a half hours. Yo playing fearless. Gamera playing a little bit slower, a little bit more patient. Yo playing like a wild boy, but it's paying off. We saw Gamera with a lot of DPs, though. You know, earlier today, he was doing a lot of DPs. He's not afraid to take his turn on defense. Yo just bullied uh, La Diva. Let's see if he can bully Gamera. Because Gamera can, when he wants to, press that button. Just get off me. EX Rek is safe. Life lead for Yo. He's got five stocks here. It's very important. Run up grab. All right. Fireball's gone. Again, that 5B poke is godlike. Corner. Four stocks again. 5B. Gamera. Oh, just run up, sweet Rekka. Let me out. You got to look out for Yo's uh, Percival's level one super. So, of course, you know, again, what you standing up for? Uh, Gita's fireball is really good, but Percival's level one can just boom. If he's got a read on that, easy to react to, easy to blow up. He want, From that range, you can't throw a fireball. Gamera knows that. He stopped. He's like, I can't throw a fireball from here. Oh, what a confirm. Super, I'm not sure if that would have killed. He's going in. Got him low. No, he messed up. And again, technical input. How many times do I got to tell you guys don't do technical input? Technical input costed him the round. Round one, yo. Oh, no. Weird DP from Gamera gets punished for that, but still swing with the 5C. Could it? it? Jump in, yeah. 5C recovery is very, very big for Percy, so easy punish. And here we go. Save jump. Got it? No. He just believed Ryo was not going to do anything right there. Now they're just chilling. Rekka safe. Just do it. Dead. Yeah, nice. Little little micro dash there to make sure the 5C hit. That was advanced stuff. He messed up in the... Oh! I told you don't do technical inputs! I told you. I told you never do it. He almost lost a round right there. He almost lost a damn round. He almost lost a damn round trying to do some technical stuff. Trying to impress the YouTube monster. You never do that. Never let the YouTube comments get in your head. Easy input all day. Got him again. Counter hit. Did not have the big confirm that we saw Zef get. Uh-oh. That Yeah, her mix up there. She's going to do the regular one or the uh, the EX one. There's the DP from Gamera. Guys, this is a good first game. Dead even on life. One round apiece. Neither player giving up an inch, right? Very, very aggressive, and then on defense, not afraid to let it rip. Oh, no. It's going to hurt. Ain't going to kill, though. Even if he does the full thing, it's not enough to kill. Yo, wake up super. Big dog, do the wake up super. Do the wake up super. You're playing. Pr oh, no, push it out of the corner like that? I didn't know that. Does her easy input do that, too, where it blows him out of the corner? Yeah, good, good awareness from Gamera. Not standing up. He's getting called by that a lot earlier. 2B. God damn. Yeah, Chip is coming. It's, this is a wrap. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Avoiding Chip in this game is very hard. You don't have, you know, the barrier. You see in Blaze where Guilty Gear or anything. That was close. Gamera came out on top. The game was close. Can Yo not let that get in his head? Can he not let that get in his head? Cornered again. Like we said, this guy's a very emotional player. Gamera's an old man from Sam Show. He's a heartless old samurai. We saw how aggressive and like just confident Yo was playing earlier, but now he's down in the set. Does he have the fortitude? Nice mash on that 2D. Classic. 5C, get a stock while you can. Anti- No! What are you jumping for? That was a juicy 2H, but I don't know what he went for. Try to air grab. Yo in trouble again. No charge for you. He's dead. No charge. Yep, that was, I want to say it was good awareness for Gamera, but it's also, you know, a lightning fast, safe EX Rekka. You can do whatever you want. But do not let Percy's get away with the uh, the free charges, and now it's match, match point. Tournament point for Gamera. 
The Samurai Shodown team got washed in the last tournament when it was divided by the game. Samurai Shodown lost. They got beat up really bad. But now Gamera repping Samurai Shodown. Trying to win it. Put the game on his back. And yeah, the, every time you do late tech, you're taking damage. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, he shimmied, but nothing. No, it's over. It's a wrap. Yo is done. He spent everything he had. Give me the easy, easy input. I oh damn, I got hype for a second. I honestly, <laughs> he's doing technical. Take it later. Tensei. Gamera, two zero over yo. He is your champion of the master only net play tournament. That was great. That was a great top eight. All those matches were really good. All those matches were really good. And I, I like I like I like single limb, man. I like it just you know, just every match counts. We just speed run that. There's no like or right, he got out at seventh place. We just run that. But there we go. Those are the uh, individual pools right here. One, two, three, four, five. Why well, don't I have five there? I don't know. There's gonna marry your winner. Uh, Shinon. Shinon was what? The Luane player? Jiro was the Luane player there. Johnny's is, I forget who that was. Tadezo is the uh, Catalina player. That was fun, though. That, that was a fun That was a fun tournament. The beginner stuff. So earlier on, Dogger didn't enter. I'm going to turn these guys down. Sorry. Early on, so we had the beginner tournament early so if you're only watching now just stick with me for a second just stick with me for a second you know let me just repeat my spiel uh so this tournament if you're only tuning in for the masters you know i don't blame you but the premise of this tournament was that anyone could enter but it was divided by your rank so we had a and under we had s we had double s triple s and master rank and they stream they stream the beginner stuff too and when we were streaming that, there were people in the, in the chat that were like, oh, I'm too intimidated to enter a tournament. You know, I don't want to enter a tournament. These guys are too good. But the whole point is just enter, just enter. Oh, no, sorry. These are the winners of everything. Right? No, it's not. Because Kenji's down there. I don't know what these brackets are. But anyway, the point is... Oh, no, th these are the winners of everything. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. The Master Cup there is Gamera. Congratulations. Tadezo is the Warriors Cup. That was the Catalina. Shinon is what the Zeta player? I don't know. Jito is the, uh, Jito is the Luane. and then Johnny's is the Zeta. I forget. But the whole point is that like anyone can enter a tournament, especially now online. You know, so going out to uh, like traveling out to Evo. Obviously, I recommend it when it exists, not this year. But I understand if you don't have money and you can't do it. But now you know we're moving to online tournaments. Are online tournaments perfect? Absolutely not. You know, you got Sage M. That, that, that baby is crying in his diaper every single day. He's just literally just snot drooling out of his nose as he cries and cries about the lay base, net code or whatever. But, I mean, that's what we have right now, you know? So, just enter. It's still a good experience. It's still a very valid experience. It can't replace offline play, but it's definitely more valuable than not entering a tournament ever. You gain experience. You gain nerves. We saw so many people today mess up. At cr crucial moments, and you could tell that they were nervous. You could tell, especially the lower ranked people, you could tell just like the fear. But the only way you can get better playing in tournaments is by playing in tournaments. And even online tournaments, even with delay based net code, you are still gaining a lot of experience. You know, you, you, you can trash on it all you want. You can trash on all you want. Hey, what up, Afro? Thank you. But it definitely helps, it definitely matters. So that when you do eventually go to the offline tournament, you know, you'll have that that little bit of experience. You'll be ready for that kind of pressure. So this uh, Corona stuff going on now, we don't know when it's going to end. Everything is everything's canceled, right? 2020 is a wash. So we're moving to online tournaments. And uh, I think it's worth playing. I think they're worth doing. You just The only thing I can say is always put an asterisk asterisks next to them because they are online they'll never replace offline but just enjoy it for what it is have fun support the fgc things like that congratulations to all the winners there they're lucky i didn't enter though that's all i gotta say
after I was watching that, that Triple S tournament, they're lucky me and Bobby didn't enter. That shit would have been a wash. That would have been me and Bobby Grand Finals. I win with Percival. There's all sorts of stuff, though. So, like, uh, Spooky. Spooky's running the, uh, the whatever. Next level stuff. Um, Ronin Rumble. Right? Ronin Rumble. They're doing weekly Grand Blue tournaments and things. Uh, Japan is getting... This is number one. If you notice, that says Rankers Battle number one. So they're going to try and run this maybe once a month. They're going to try and do this a lot more. Wednesday night fights. Yeah. So yeah. Just find out your region, man. Just enter up. You'll meet some people too. You got to join the Discord and stuff like that. But now, this this got me in the mood to play. I'm going to play it. This is also the first tournament of the new patch, right? The patch just came out last week. Uh, fitting that Jita won. You know, Jita, even before the even before the patch notes came out, we we're like, Jita's going to be top tier in the next version. Jita Percival, top tier, top tier. Fastiva, top tier. Nino Mai, bottom tier, but doing work. All right, they're going to end it. Yeah. The comment is saying, till next time. They said they're going to do it again. They're like, if you weren't able to enter in this tournament, we're going to do it again. So make sure you practice and enter in the next one. Yep. The very first Grand Blue Fantasy Rankers Battle from the Tenno Studio. You notice that Tenno logo in the background. Let's go to some of this. They use the Tenno Studio. Bye bye. Old Scotty, some of this. Yay, that was fun.